know some booties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. <sighs> What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, cause we getting baddies over here. Look man, I'm sitting here scratching my head because I'm just wondering, wondering why you smothering the baddies. It's all up on them, just not giving them no room to breathe. She can't breathe, she's suffocating. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Well, her attraction is flatline when you just constantly pressing, constantly trying to be all up in her face. I talk about it in my one-on-ones. If you guys need one, link in the description. 30 minute or hour video call, I got you. But look, man, you guys need to understand. Women are more attracted when they don't know whether you like them or not. You're indifferent. Like, like you could kind of like her or you could kind of still want to be in these streets. You got the lover boy and you got the playboy side and, and you know, they collided. They mesh together. Mister, women want someone that loves them and shows them affection and buys them stuff and flowers and all of this and tells them how beautiful they are. Sam! You telling me that all these women want Sam? Well, bro, they post the memes. They be reposting all of, you know, Justin LaBoy stuff. They be reposting, shout out to Justin LaBoy. They be reposting all of, you know what I mean, these lovey-dovey stuff, the TikToks. Women will say things that their feelings don't respond to. But what you have to do is hear what a woman says, but listen to how she acts. See how she moves. How does she respond to what you're doing? If you're texting her all the time, blowing up her phone, you can't sit there and be wondering, well, I mean, this is this is what I'm supposed to be doing because I just know it's the right thing to do. I'm saying the right things, but she's not giving me any more attention. Like she's delaying her text. She's not even responding at all. She's she's responding two days later. Like the answers are right in front of you. When you chill out, when you lay back, when you're focused on your grind, when you actually go in those phases where you forgot about her. You ever notice how she just randomly pops up and texts you? She does. This has happened to me many, many times. A lot of times I'll be pressed over somebody. Oh my God, what, what, what's she doing? I snap out of it. I say, bro, come on now. Let's lock in. I lock in or I go out and, you know, I meet a girl or something. You know what I'm saying? Clap some cheeks. Clap some cheeks will make you forget real quick about that little piece of punani. Once you realize it's a Worldwide fluctuation of freaking baddies to dive in. Yeah, you go, you go switch up real quick. How you think? Scarcity to abundance in a split second, just like that. Booty so fat. So yeah, you lock in. You focus on your job. I'm over here sweating. That's how you know, guys know I'm really, I'm really feeling this. I'm really passionate about this. I'm trying to help y'all. <laughs> You guys are really locked in, whatever it is, you, you're doing extra hours at work. You told your boss, hey, look, I see that this is missing in the company. I could fill that hole. Pause. I, could, <laughs> I don't know. I, I could fill, fill that gap. You hear me? And I feel like I should be compensated more because I will be spending more time and I'll be making sure that it's right. Give me a week to prove it, and then we could talk about a raise. What you think? Sound cool to me. Look, people are trying to, now I'm just giving you inspiration about making money, which is cool, right? People are trying, especially bosses, to make their lives easier, including women. Women need their lives to be made easier. How do you do that? It's the opposite of the job. The job is a very, you know, masculine energy driven, going after it, aggressive, get it done type of vibe, right? So with women, you gotta boom, think of it the exact opposite way. You gotta pull back, you gotta relax, you gotta do less, because less is more when it comes to attracting women. Women are supposed to come chase you. Movies, social media, all these things are just making it seem like you're supposed to be living in this fairy tale, la la land, 
and you're supposed to just constantly feed her validation to make her see that you're different from all these other dudes. But guess what? If you really want to be different from all these other dudes, then you got to act differently from all these other dudes. They are doing all of that. They are feeding her validation. They are triple texting. They are you know, asking to take her out on expensive dates that they can barely even afford just to impress her. You know what I'm saying? They losing money instead of making money. The woman, they don't even, they don't even know if the woman is even good for them. She just looks good. She don't be cooking, she don't be cleaning. She be starting arguments. She don't even like nothing he likes. Not saying that's super important, but nothing? Zero? Crazy. So, <laughs> You have to vet these women properly. Pulling back, giving her space is going to give you time to actually see is this somebody that you actually want in your life and see a future with. Secondly, it makes her miss you more. She's going to start reminiscing on all the positive times. Oh my God, yeah, he actually was a solid dude. Oh my God, he actually did care about me on a deeper level than all these other suckers out here because they don't really give a damn about nothing but the box. You care about the box, man. I'm not gonna lie. You do. We all do. We we do. But at the end of the day, you know, you get that one girl that you know you sharing your life with, and that's cool. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's normal, right? So now you got to reattract her. She pushed you away. She said, "You know what? I think I just need a little space." And us men, we got egos. We we, we don't want to hear that. Oh, you don't want to? You want you want you want me to fall back? You don't want me in your life? Oh, nah, so it flips this switch and our emotions just take the best of us. Take over everything that we doing. Knowing damn well, you might logically know you are not supposed to be blowing up her phone, making excuses for why you guys should still be together, telling her, uh, you know, I'm so good to you, I did this, this, and that. She knows what you did, but guess what you're doing now? You're begging, you're pleading, you're looking needy, you're looking desperate. You're looking like you ain't got no options. The reason she wanted a space is because guess what? Slowly over time, you started to put more interest into her than into what attracted her to you. Your work, you're on your purpose. You barely, you know, showed her enough affection and she was chasing it and she got a little bit of it. You had abundance of women. The women disappeared suddenly. You might be thinking, oh, well, nah, she don't want me around a lot of women. Bro, I'm telling you right now from experience, women see other bad, beautiful women around you. If you move and do it correctly, she going to stick around. She going to stick around and act right. <laughs> so you got to you gotta start building that roster. You got to start really, you know what I mean, having an abundance of baddies on call at all times. Dimes. Yeah, man, give her space. Give her space and see what happens. Fight the urges. You're trying to text her, you're about to say, ah! rip your arm from your other arm and the phone and whatever it is, stop it. Get some help. Get the one-on-one. -on -one. Talk to me. Talk to me before you talk to her. <laughs> serious. I'm joking, but I'm serious. You hear me? Man, I'm still hot. These women, they, they, they're going to be wishy-washy. It's just what it is. Don't be like, it's not fair. I don't want to play games. This and that. If you don't want to play games, then don't complain about why you ain't got no baddies and why it never works out and why she's always treating you like a doormat. Just don't. It is what it is. You get with it or you just get lost. That's it. If you're not built for it, stay single. Stay single and just hope for the best. Anyways, man. <laughs> That is it for today's video. If you guys liked it, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, schedule you a one-on-one -on -one call. Download Attraction Made Easy Masterclass. And until next time, focus on you and the women will too. I know some bitties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection.